So I think there are at least two ways of thinking about the, the self of the preacher in the sermon. One is to think about use of first person stories, use of first person vignettes. To, to oversimplify my, my sort of guideline about that for myself, um, I do make use of the first person in the pulpit, but I try to ask myself, is someone going to leave remembering this story that I've told about myself, or are they going to leave remembering whatever in the scriptures or whatever about life with God I hope this vignette illumines? And if it's the latter, I might well use the vignette. If I think they're gonna remember something about Lauren, then I do not use that vignette. I do think that we are preaching with our congregation, and that part of that is um, about prayer, and I think for me, preaching more and more, um, sort of each year, preaching seems to reveal itself more to be prayer for and with my congregation. Not necessarily that preaching prompts prayer or reminds me of prayer, but that um, both crafting the sermon and the, the moments of delivering the sermon really are prayer for and with my congregation. And I think in that context, um, whatever is risky feels less, less risky. Um, or maybe it doesn't feel less risky, but I feel less afraid.